I finally did it! I chose my college, Wilmore Tech up north. But the joy feels tainted. Knowing you're here, draining dad's resources, it's suffocating. It's been gnawing at me, making it impossible to focus on my future. So, Harper, it's time we addressed you. Don't you think it's time you considered moving on? After all, dad's feelings for you. Well, let's just say they're a distant memory, right? Tamia, where is this all coming from? Congratulations on Wilmore Tech, that's fantastic. But why the hostility? This isn't out of nowhere. Why are you still here, Harper? Dad's unhappy. You're a roadblock to the incredible life we could have together. Just leave. A roadblock? From what I've felt, you've benefited from my presence more than Dad's recent choices. Technically, you're my stepmom, but you haven't earned that title. You're nothing. No family, no friend. Just an occupant. Now, get out of Dad's penthouse. Dad's penthouse? Did he put you up to this? I haven't been a burden, have I? I certainly haven't interfered with you two. This is confusing, Tamiya. Are you sure you understand everything? I understand perfectly. You bleed Dad dry. My allowance has vanished. He says it's all your shopping sprees, the insane grocery bills. Shopping sprees? I barely have time to shop and groceries. Your father eats like a horse. Don't play dumb. It's obvious, isn't it? A gold-digging hag living with a high life thanks to dad. Five years of luxury you wouldn't have dreamed on your own. Homeless with a cardboard sign. That would be you if it weren't for him. My life is a result of my own hard work, not some handout. And your father, all I get is these frosty silences these days. So ungrateful. I've hated living with you, but kept quiet. Not anymore. This penthouse suffocates me with your presence. You see the pain you cause, right? Leave now. No, this is my home. I won't be bullied out by a teenager. But listen, if that's what you want, I can break the lease. But it won't come to that. You're the most stubborn hag I've ever met. For five years, I've been here for you. Through middle school, high school, every cheerleading competition. And this is how you repay me? You've used dad's money. I won't let you exploit him anymore. Exploitation? That's your father's story? Lies, Tamiya. They're pure lies. Dad wouldn't lie. You shut your mouth. Don't talk to me like that. I provided a home for you both. You should be grateful. Grateful? You're the one who should be grateful. Stay here and you regret the day you cross me. I regret nothing. You need the truth before you make a colossal mistake, Tamiya. What have you been telling your daughter all this time, Carter? I think you need to start telling her the truth before she does something really stupid. The look on Tamiya's face, the venom in her words. It's clear you've spun some elaborate tale about me. And for what? What do you mean, start telling her the truth? Are you trying to accuse me of something here, Harper? You should know I would never intentionally mislead Tamiya. You know what I'm talking about. I have no idea why, Carter, after five years of marriage. For a while now, you've continued to lie to her in order to cover up the truth. But you need to tell her the truth right now. She's your daughter, and she deserves to know, right? Don't you even feel a sliver of guilt? A shred of decency? Are you not embarrassed to be painting me as some sort of gold-digging villain in front of our own child? I'm embarrassed hearing about how you've lied to her so far. It makes me question everything about our marriage. You can calm down now. She happens to be my daughter after all. So I'm the one who gets to decide what course she's on, not you. What course she's on? What kind of course? Are you trying to set her on a course paved with resentment and lies about you and I? You're making me look like the bad guy over here, the leech clinging on your wealth. You built this life with me, Carter, not just you on your own. And what's wrong with that? Her and I are doing really well together right now, living a happy life in this penthouse. So why does it matter that I tell a few little white lies about you here and there? If anything, you're the outsider in this family, Harper. The one who disrupts the peace we've built. You don't have a say in the life I have with her anyway. Is that right? So there's no point in trying to help you or salvage this situation, is there? Understood. Then you can go ahead and keep telling her whatever you'd like, spitting your web of deceit. But I'm going to start doing what I want as well, Carter. And that just might involve revealing the truth myself, even if it tears this whole charade apart.
I just handed in your guys' divorce papers. You can pack your bags and get out now. What? Divorce papers? There's been no talk of that. This is some kind of sick joke, right? Joke? Look inside if you don't believe me. I have the right to do something like that for my dad, right? He deserves better than a leech sucking him dry. Now, I want this parasite out of the house right now. A leech? A parasite? Listen here to Mia. You don't know what you're talking about. Trying to kick me out of this place is not going to work for you or your dad. So you should have just stopped when I told you that. It's not going to work. I think this will work in ridding the house of you for good. The divorce has already happened now. So you're nothing more than a stranger again to my dad and I. Which means you'll have to leave this house, right? I've not made any mistakes here. Because I'm not the one who's been confused this whole time. Confused? You have been very confused about everything, Tamiya. But you'll see just how wrong you are soon enough. Just stop it already with all that talk and leave. You're the one that my dad has been letting live in this penthouse this whole time, you hag. The courthouse has already processed the divorce papers, so you can go already. Your dad's gonna be the one leaving this place then. What? What are you talking about? You have really been pushing my buttons with all that venom you've been spewing. Clearly, playing the role of the gracious stepmom is no longer appreciated. Here I was, thinking I'd built a home for you, raised you the last five years, and this is how you repay me? Seriously, Tamiya, did you ever stop to consider the impact your actions might have? I've been considering it the entire time. This charade has gone on long enough. Now, it's finally over for you. Over for me? Honey, let me tell you something. This is just the beginning for you two. What are you even talking about? Oh, bless your naive heart. Thank you so much for saving me the trouble of filing those pesky divorce papers myself. Now that means you and your precious daddy need to find yourselves a new place to crash. What are you on about? This is our house. You might want to check the ownership papers again, sweetheart, because as of right now, you're trespassing on private property. And considering you just served me with divorce papers, well, that makes us strangers, doesn't it? To be honest, I've thought of you as a stranger all this time. Were you aware that I was the one planning on paying for you to go to college? And have been the one paying for all of your school supplies? Huh? Paying for me to go to college? What on earth are you talking about? Oh, I'm going to stop bothering with all that now. And we'll even take back the money that I paid in order to get you to graduate. You might have thought that you had the upper hand here, but it's up to me that you were finally given a decent life to live. But the fact is, you haven't even realized any of that yet. Oh, you poor thing. What is all of this about? All I'm hearing from you is some of the most stupid talk I've ever heard. You really think I'm going to listen to anything you're telling me right now? I know that my dad has been the one allowing you the chance to live in a decent life. Trying to lie to me about all of that again isn't going to help you any. Lying to you? If you really still believe that I'm lying to you, then why not go ask your dad about this? Come on now. Just shut up and leave this place already. Thank you for handing in those divorce papers to me. And so because of that, I would like you two to please leave the penthouse. I feel really bad for you though. So I'll give you two a day to pack things. But if you're not out of here by the end of the day tomorrow, I'm going to call the police on you guys for trespassing. What the hell is all of this? You have no right or way of kicking us out of our own place. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? What? What do you mean? I'll go and let your dad know about this right now. You and I have nothing else to talk about now. And once you and your dad are out of my house, I don't ever want to talk to you again. Is that clear? I'd love for that. I never want to talk to you again anyway. And just know it's not us that will be leaving our house. It's going to be you and your lying mouth. One other thing. Don't ever think of me as your mom again either. I'm sure you never thought of me as your mother since you act like this now. But I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. This is all to make sure that you never bother me again. And of course, there'll be no more money coming from me after this. Haha, <laughs> I've never once cared to think of you as anything besides the housemaid. And I promise, I'll never talk to your butt again. I'm gonna get all the money I paid out for your graduation and such back. So you'll have to pay me all of that somehow. Perhaps you can ask your lovely dad to pay all of that for you. Say whatever you like, you old hag. I already know you're paying for my schooling and all of that is a fat lie. So shut up if you understand that, huh? Sure. As long as you want to continue believing that this is all in fact a lie. I've only been trying to tell you the truth this whole time. But soon you'll find out the truth. Goodbye forever. Now, Tamiya, please leave me by the end of the day tomorrow. Wait, we've really been kicked out of the house? 
What the hell is going on here? Do something about this, Hopper. You can't just throw us out on the street like yesterday's trash. How am I supposed to do anything to help, Tamiya? If you're claiming this isn't my home now, I clearly told you yesterday to vacate the premises by the end of the day, right? If anything, you should be grateful I gave you the courtesy day to pack your things instead of having them tossed onto the sidewalk. So what's the issue here? The issue is you just kicked us out of the house. Why the hell are we being evicted for no reason? No reason? Didn't your dear old dad explain everything? What kind of education are they giving you at that fancy school anyway, if it doesn't include basic comprehension? Look, let me reiterate for the hard of hearing. That house is mine. It's not yours. And today, I simply exercised my right as the owner to have security escort any unauthorized residents out. I was right to do so, wasn't I? I... I heard from dad that you weren't lying to me, and that we've really been kicked out of the house. But... Are you serious? So you're telling me this whole time I've been living a lie? A lie? About what, Tamiya? I've been brutally honest with you and your father. Never once did I try and sugarcoat anything. The problem was your refusal to believe me, constantly dismissing my words as lies. Maybe, just maybe, it was your father who's been feeding you a steady stream of falsehoods. You always took his word as gospel, didn't you? But I did tell you the truth about him, didn't I? There's no way my dad's unemployed right now. Why would he ever lie to me about something like that? Ah, so the truth finally dawns on you, does it? The truth being that your dear old dad hasn't been pulling in a paycheck for a year now. He lost his job a while back. I want to understand. Why would he keep this from me? Pride mostly. Embarrassed about admitting he's a failure, isn't he? Couldn't bear the thought of his precious daughter knowing he can't provide for her anymore. A real peach of a man, your father. Are you calling my dad a failure? You have some nerve. Nerve? Compared to everything your father's put me through? Let me tell you something, Tamiya. Your feelings and your father's are the least of my concerns right now. The love I once had for the both of you? Frozen solid. You wanted a divorce, didn't you? Well, congratulations. Because believe me, I've been yearning for one myself. Huh? Are you serious about that right now? A divorce? Absolutely. The only reason I haven't filed myself is because of you. Why me? Because I cared about your education. Truth be told, I loathed your father for a long time now, for a multitude of reasons. This past year, the man hasn't lifted a finger to find work, all while cheating on me left and right with who knows how many women. And the way he throws his money around, it's enough to make your head spin. But if I had divorced him because of any of that, then forget college. Your father wouldn't have a dime to pay for your graduation, let alone your next semester. Leaving you with him as your sole guardian, the thought was unbearable. So I put up with his crap. I truly believed I could endure it until you graduated, but clearly I was mistaken. You're lying, right? Is all of that true? I never heard anything about all that. My dad wouldn't lie to me about something this big, would he? But I told you, Tamiya, that everything I'm saying is the truth. I haven't lied to you once this entire conversation. So, you're telling me all of this because you've been thinking of me? You let us live here rent-free, pay for my school supplies, and even plan to pay for my first year of college. All because you cared about me? That's what I'm saying. Stop acting like this is all some elaborate scheme or something. But I guess at this point, it probably does seem pretty unbelievable. You were the one who went and filed the divorce papers, remember? There's no changing that now. But I had no idea about what was really going on with you and Dad. If I had known, I never would have... And that's your problem, right? That all has nothing to do with me anymore. Right now, I feel like I've just had two huge weights lifted off my shoulders. One, the burden of a failing marriage, and two, the financial responsibility of a child who doesn't even appreciate me. Honestly, I feel kind of lucky. Oh, wait a second. Don't say something like that at a time like this. So what's going to happen with my tuition and graduation? Am I still going to be able to go to college? Well, Tamiya, I was planning on paying for your first year there. Something I've never discussed with your father. But considering the circumstances, I no longer plan on giving you any money for school. Then what's going to happen to me? My dreams of going to college. What's going to happen to you? Get a job and pay for it all yourself. That or you can force your dad to get off his ass and get some work done again. You can't say that. Especially not about my dad. Like I was saying before, your dad never paid for any of your school supplies. They weren't exactly cheap, you know. I was the one who did all that. But I'm not sure why I did all of that now. Like I said, I'm going to take back the money I gave you for graduation. So there's no reason to pay for your supplies to learn in high school in the first place, right? Huh? Are you freaking kidding me? You've already paid for me to graduate and everything? Oh, you'd be a real jerk if you took that money back. 
Then what's going to happen to me after with college and all that? I'm not going to be able to pay for all that on my own, especially not now. Well, congratulations, Tamiya. You've managed to accomplish something truly spectacular. You not only managed to break up your own family, but you also just revoked your own free ride to college. Think about it for a second. Here you were, living comfortably, with everything you could ever need provided for you, and you threw it all away on a whim. But hey, at least you can say you showed your dad, right? I... I never knew things were bad between you and dad. If I had known, I never would have. Oh, please, spare me the crocodile tears, Tamiya. Let's be honest here. You were only too happy to jump on that bandwagon your dear old dad built for you. See, Harper is the bad guy. She's taking advantage of dad. That's all you ever saw, wasn't it? No, that's not true. It wasn't like that at all. Dad just... Dad told me you were using him, taking all his money. Using him? Honey, let me tell you something. The only person using anyone here is your father. He's been leeching off me for months now, living a luxurious life while contributing absolutely nothing. And you, his own daughter, believed all his lies without a second thought. Wait a second. But I don't have anywhere to live, so how are we supposed to carry on? Where the hell are we supposed to go now? Hey, like I said before, that's not really my problem anymore. You and your father, the wonderful man who raised you to be so trusting, can figure that out together. Maybe he can finally get off his backside and use some of that money he claims I stole to find a roof over your head. What? You can't just throw us out on the street like yesterday's trash. Don't you have any compassion at all? Compassion? For the people who betrayed me? For the people who made my life a living hell for the past year? I think not, Tamiya. In fact, I feel lighter than I have in months. The weight of your father's lies and your misplaced anger is finally gone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a nice bottle of wine calling my name. Wait. You're part of this family, though. You were married to my dad. Yet, now you're acting like we're nothing to you. Don't you feel like a monster for acting like that right now? A monster? Look in the mirror, Tamiya. The monster's staring right back at you. You're the one who ripped this family apart. And you're the one who's going to have to live with those consequences. I'm sure I was all happy about that then. But honestly, I don't even remember what I was thinking. Everything just happened so fast. Not sure. You were acting all happy about that practically skipping around the house like you just won the lottery. If you just took a second to look back at what you told me yesterday, you'd understand that, wouldn't you? Think about it, Tamiya. Think about the words that come out of your own mouth. Wait, but I didn't mean anything by it. I, I just wanted my parents to be happy, that's all. I never thought things would end up like this. Happy? Honey, let me tell you something. This whole charade we've been living for the past year has been anything but happy. And you know what? The biggest reason for that is you and your father. Me? But how? I just assumed it was because of my dad that things were going so well between us. And when he told me you were taking his money, I thought he was telling the truth. I believed him. And you believed him? Your own father who hasn't worked a real job in months over me. The one who's been putting a roof over your head, paid for your fancy clothes and all those school supplies you seem to go through like candy. That's who you chose to believe, Tamiya. But, but why wouldn't I? He's my dad. He's supposed to take care of me. And that's exactly what I was doing. Taking care of you. Because your precious father, bless his lying heart, couldn't be bothered to lift a finger. He's been leeching off me for months now. Living a luxurious life while contributing absolutely nothing. And you, his own daughter, believed his lies without a second thought. Wait a second. But I don't have anywhere to live, so how are we supposed to carry on? Where the hell are we supposed to go now? This can't be happening. Hey, like I said before... That's really not my problem anymore. You and your father, the wonderful man who raised you to be so trusting, can figure that out together. Maybe he could finally get off his backside and use some of that money he claims I stole to find a roof over your head. Or maybe you could start thinking about getting yourself a job to help out. What? You can't just throw us out on the street like yesterday's trash. Don't you have any compassion at all? Especially for your stepdaughter. We were a family. For the people who made my life a living hell? I think not, Tamiya. In fact, I feel light. This weight is gone. Now again, if you'll excuse me, I have a nice bottle of wine calling my name. And a new life to start living. One that doesn't involve you or your delightful father. Timia tried her best to act through things as though they were going to be okay. And that her apologies were forgiven. And even tried to force her way back into the building. But before she could even get into the elevator, the security there picked her up and took her back outside of the building before locking the doors. And ever since then, she's not tried to get back in my house. 
and had no longer been trying to contact me either. So for her, she's now stuck with the man she trusted so much, realizing now that he's indeed trash. I also got the money back that I gave her for graduation. It's not looking like she'll be at the ceremony. And as for getting into the college she wants, that most likely won't be happening soon either. The only option she has now is to force her dad to work again or to find a job herself and hope she could save up enough money for her future education. Speaking of her dad, actually, he still has relations with one of the women he's cheated on me with. So I suppose a third option for Tamiya would be to have her dad ask that woman for support and money and hope that she's anywhere close to as kind as I was. I guess things really didn't turn out the way Tamiya wanted after all, but that's what happens when you choose to ignore the open truth.